Welcome to the Joy of Music. Featuring the First Lady of the Organ, Diane Bish. We invite you to meet great composers and performers. Travel to Europe's ancient monasteries and snow-covered Alps. Visit great historical cathedrals and beautiful lakes and gardens. Praise ye the Lord. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise Him with a psaltery and harp. Praise Him with a trumpet. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And now, Miss Diane Bish. Today on The Joy of Music, we want to share with you a musical journey of Bavaria. Bavaria is one of the most beautiful and unique places in all the world. With its wonderful snow and Alps, with flowers, lakes, gardens, unique homes with paintings, and of course, wonderful people. My co-host on the program today will be a Bavarian, Mr. John Bolton. And this is the home of Mr. and Mrs. John Bolton, which we will be visiting later in the program. Of course, Bavaria is also a place of churches and monasteries and cathedrals. And we would like to start the program today with a number of great praise and exaltation, the Alleluia, as performed in the church of Lengris, Bavaria.
beauty of a Bavarian summer, we visited a small chapel tucked away in the woods with a significant history. John Bolton told us the story. You see, Diane, in 1634, this was the end of the Thirty Years' War, the Black Plague uh, ravaged throughout Europe. About half of the people, of the, half of the population of Europe was completely wiped out. There were seven particular men in Wackersberg who promised God that if they were spared, they would build a chapel. Well, they were spared, and so they built, you see, this beautiful little chapel. They also promised that on every May the 20th, they would have services of praise and prayer here, and they have done so uninterruptedly since 1634. That's a bit more than 350 years. As we perform music at the St. Martin's Church in Garmisch-Partenkirchen, we enjoy the sights of the surrounding Bavarian countryside, the flowers, the old houses, and the colorful costumes of the people.
This wonderful region of Bavaria is not only a beautiful place in the summer with its flowers and trees and green meadows, but also in the winter, for people come from all over the world to enjoy the winter sports and the Alps. Our day as skiers begins at the cozy Braunek Arabella Hotel in Lengris, Bavaria, where we partake of a hearty breakfast and enjoy the company of friends. Then, off to the ski lift for a day of fun and enjoyment of the beauty of God's creation. At the day's end, we visit a Bavarian family and friends as they sing and play the folk music of the region. scripture that says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And it's wonderful to go around the world and to find people who have committed their lives to Christ and their homes that they might be used to God's glory. We are most fortunate to be in one of the most elegant and beautiful homes in this area of the country, Bavaria. And this home is owned by Mr. and Mrs. John Bolton who have invited us here and shown us such beautiful hospitality. Thank you so much, John and Inez, for having us here. You're oh, You're quite welcome. We are very happy to have you and also the other artists here at our home. We greatly enjoy your music, just as my father used to enjoy your music when you played, when he heard you at Carl Ridge Church. He was enamored of what he called his old friend Johann Sebastian. In fact, he said at one point that music that is not written or played for the glory of God is not music. I know that you, you love music, both you and Inez love music, and, and also are so interested in seeing that music is played to the glory of God. Yes, that's yes. right. And we, we appreciate that. Well, may I read a portion of the 84th Psalm, which has been a tradition in our family for at least four generations. One of the most beautiful Psalms. How lovely is your temple, O Lord, of the armies of heaven. I long 
Yes, I faint with longing to be able to enter your courtyard and come near to the living God. Even the sparrows and the swallows are welcome to come and nest among your altars and there have their young. O Lord of heaven's armies, my King and my God, how happy are those who can live in your temple singing your praises. A single day spent in your temple is better than a thousand anywhere else. I would rather be a doorman of the temple of my God than live in palaces of wickedness. For Jehovah God is our light and our protector. He gives us grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk along his paths. O Lord of the armies of heaven, blessed Blessed are those who trust in you. That's a beautiful scripture. This, ver this psalm, as well as all of the other psalms, in fact, the whole Bible, they speak of God's love. And I think this is the one thing that we must understand. Love is the, the, the watchword of the whole Bible. For God so loved us that he gave his only begotten son that we may have eternal life. You know, Diane, that everything we have belongs to the Lord. We have to share it. So that's why everybody who comes in this house is, is, is very welcome. And everything we give, we give it because we got it through the Lord. You know, I have noticed, uh, Inez and John, that in this area, in the homes, that the barns are usually always connected to the homes, which means that not only people are important and live together, but also the animals live right in contact with the people in the homes. Is, uh, is there any reason for that, or is that uh, just a tradition? No, this is around here. It is that, uh, that people and animal practically live together. And, you know, we have in the winter such big storms, and it's so cold that we are happy to go from the house directly into the stable, so I we don't see. have to go outside, you mm -hmm. know. I know you yourself, Ines, love animals. Yes. And uh, not only are, are so kind to people, but also to the many animals that you have here, horses and chickens and, and dogs and cats. And that's important to you. Well, they, they are all from God, too. You know, this, uh, they are all God's creation. And uh, we should love them. Even the Bible talks about it. Mm -hmm. Maybe John can... Not only this one, but the, you can read it mm -hmm. quite times, you know, that... Uh, that God loves, that God loves the animals, right? too. Here it is. We should take care of them. In the 36th Psalm, I'll read from uh, the 6th verse. Your justice is as solid as God's mountains. Your decisions are as full of wisdom as the oceans are with water. You are concerned for men and animal alike. How precious is your constant love, O God. Right. So animals are also God's creatures and they are precious to him. And they belong to us. Can you imagine a world without a bird? Right, without a bird, a, without animals, uh, without animals. flowers, right. without music. Right. Oh, yes, of course <laughs> that. Uh, we as musicians uh, just want to thank you for your great patronage, for your support, and for your wonderful witness to the love of Jesus Christ. And thank you so much for inviting us into your beautiful home. You're very welcome. You're welcome.
Yitramzel is a unique Bavarian village found in the woods between Munich and Garmisch Partenkirchen. The monastery of Dietramzell is one of the most beautiful in all of Bavaria. As we travel through Germany, we find that all of the cathedrals, monasteries, and churches were started by people who wanted to worship God and to glorify Him. Dietramzell is no exception. This monastery was started in the year 1100 by three men who came to settle in the woods of this region. And over the years, this church has stood as a place of worship for all those who would come to this beautiful area. We want to share with you some music from this monastery. The organ is 200 years old, and the church is over 700 years old. Thank you for joining us today on the joy of music as we have made a musical journey of Bavaria. Whether it is the summer or the cold winters here in this region, it is one of the most unique and beautiful places in the world. And here we can truly appreciate the creation that God has given us. My co-host has been Mr. John Bolton. Thank you so much for joining us 
and we look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music. Diane Bish and The Joy of Music wish to thank Lufthansa German Airlines for their support in helping to make this program possible. Broadcasting Network.